What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a different type of video. We are going to be reacting to some crazy shit. <laughs> Do you know that the US has the highest child incarceration rates? I wonder why. America loves guns. America loves guns. Hell, I love guns. Guns have been around for centuries, but no nation has embraced the firearm as much as the United States. Guns have been around for guns have been around guns have been around guns have been around guns have guns 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 have been around for centuries, but no nation has embraced the firearm as much as the United States. Another mass shooting in America. Another mass shooting. Yet another mass shooting. I generally, I generally wonder why. Pegram's gun safety classes near Mint Hill. Please hold your hand as up as high as possible. Tailored to kids like him. It's the parent's choice of what their kids should be around. I'm just offering a class to let them learn to be safe if they're going to be around them. The children spend four hours both in classroom time and shooting, working from a Nerf gun to get them used to it to a 22 or 9 millimeter. Some students are as young as six, he says. So a lot of times they're not shooting 9 millimeter. I mean, it's literally like giving a kid a gun. You know, like, it, it, it's absolutely crazy in the U.S., you know? Like, you would think that that's just a saying you would give a kid a, a gun, you know? But in the U.S., it's actually like that. You know, like, I feel like if you are going to have guns, it needs to be like the regulations probably say. You have to keep it in a safe, you know? Especially if it's for self-protection. Like, I would personally keep it in a safe, locked, especially if I had kids and only be opened when there's an actual issue you know if there's a home break-in or if there's a zombie apocalypse or whatever the situation may be if the gun is actually needed it's there you know of course my kids are going to be very very well behaved and are going to know that the gun is only there for self-protection and they are dangerous but there are some parents who just think that it's okay to just show your kids guns and let them use guns and play around with it like they're toys when they're not anyways let's let's get straight into this video first look at the 12 year old boy who cops say open fire at deputies along with the fort wait no matter what the video may be, I, I like it always. We're getting our first look at the 12-year-old boy who cops say open fire at deputies along with a 14-year-old girl. Today he was in court and considering his age, it's hard to fathom the charges he's facing. Many news outlets have decided to show his face even though... Look at him. He just looks so scary. He looks so broken inside, you know, like... Just, just before I was making this video, my mom was like, oh, are you sure you want to do that? You know, do you have your facts right and everything? And uh, we were just talking about it. And I was just like, you know, per I think that a kid is only going to kill if he's either got something wrong with him mentally, like if he's been abused or, or you know, really broken inside there. Or he's actually got a reason for it, you know, and whether you agree or I agree that it, it was a valid reason or not, they had that in their head that they needed to do what they do. Because no kid, no matter how old they are, will wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm just going to take the gun like in GTA 5 and go pat, pat, pat and shoot some people. Like, like no kid's going to do that unless they have something wrong with them or they have their intentions. To show his face, even though he's a minor, because of the seriousness of the incident and the charges. Les Trent reports. He looks like he could be in the principal's office for some silly prank at school, but this- No, he doesn't. I, I, I hate that that's such a typical thing for this guy to say, this inside edition, but he doesn't look like that. He looks like a broken child. He looks like he's been through shit. Like, look at him. Like, he ain't right, dude. Like, he's got the mind of a, of a villain. Look at him. This 12-year-old is in huge trouble with the law. You're also charged with attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer. No reaction, no emotion. This kid, is, this kid is broken. You know, he's long gone. He needs some proper help. He shouldn't have been alone for even a second no one in their right mind should should have even let that happen travis like, o'brien and a 14 year old girl are accused of opening fire on cops during a 30 minute shootout 
shot fired. Everybody get hard cover. They were coming out to kill cops. The 12 year old did not speak during today's hearing right. at which the judge Thank referred to him much. as Mr. O'Brien. Uh, Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. Cops. I mean, the kid is. Unfortunately, it is really sad that he called it Mr. O'Brien like he's an adult. The, the, the kid is 12 years old. 12. He's 12. Look, look at all the other 12 year olds in this entire world. You know, like you've got your OK adult type 12 year olds. Sure. But they're still 12. Look at the 12 year olds who act like 12 year olds. They're 12 year olds, you know, like what the hell? This poor kid, he's misguided. I mean, he shouldn't be sentenced to prison. He should be loved, shown that like there's more to life than taking guns and trying to shoot cops. Like, like the whole US is like, so is they, they're, they're trying to do things right. They ain't doing it right. Like judge referred to him as Mr. O'Brien. Uh, thank you, Mr. O'Brien. Cops say the boy and the girl ran away from a home for troubled youth. They there. That that's your answer right there. They ran away from a home called troubled youth. Hello? No? I mean, what the hell? These kids needed to be helped. Instead, they were let free to do some crazy shit. And just before this, I said, if I ever had guns, I would keep them in a safe locked. Not because my kids are gonna go take it and, and shoot some people, but because I don't want somebody else breaking in and taking my guns and threatening my family or whatever it is. I'm not just gonna leave a rifle hanging out there or a handgun just hanging out over there. No, it's gonna be in a safe hidden so nobody can find it except oh, oh, me broke into a house and found two shotguns, an AK-47, and a handgun. Bro, you just have this laying in your house. Just, just repeat what he just a said. House and two shotguns, an AK-47, and a handgun. Who just has these guns just sitting around like, Hey, Billy, pass me the AK-47. I need to shoot the chickens. Like, that is why people make fun of the U.S. I mean, how, how dumb do you have to be to just leave those weapons lying around? And these kids definitely knew. Get, get, get the hell out of my face, bro. Like, they didn't just walk into some random person's house and take the guns, did they? I mean, if they did, then the U.S. is really screwed. If they can just walk into any house and just be like, Oh, cool, there's a gun there. Let me take it and shoot some cops. Like, what, what the fuck? When cops arrived, the girl reportedly said to the boy, I'm going to roll this down like GTA. I'm going to roll this down like GTA. I mean, see, that, that, that's the problem with this world. I, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if the kid actually said, let's roll this down like GTA 5. If she did, I think maybe the cop cam would have caught it, maybe. They could just be saying to blame GTA. Oh yeah, let's just sweep it under the carpet. Oh, it's GTA's fault. Children don't play GTA 5. No, I mean, play GTA 5, but don't have guns lying around. Blame it on the fuckers who left the guns just lying around. <laughs> what the fuck? A poor video game gets blamed for this, really? Like, and pretty dumb kids also, if they don't understand the difference between a video game and real life. How are they supposed to know the difference between a game and real life when in, in GTA there are guns just lying around which you can pick up and in real life in the US there are guns just lying around everywhere which they can pick up. So yeah, guess, guess it is GTA in fucking the United States. Jesus. Referring to the violent video game Grand Theft Auto. Put the gun down now! She's got the AK and the shotgun. She's wrapping it around the top of her neck. Then came the stunning realization that they were being fired upon by okay. children. Hey guys, just hold behind hard cover. Let's not shoot these kids, man. Just, let's just hold on. Take our time. 10-4, they're shooting at me. She's re-racking around inside the shotgun. All right, let's not engage them anymore. Let's not challenge them. Just hold behind hard cover. We're just going to hang out here. See, this, this officer in charge knows exactly what's going on. As much as these kids think that they got life figured out and that they can just take a gun and go shoot cops, they are children. 
They, they, there's a reason why children can't say yes to sex at 10 years old or, or hold a gun at 10 years old. There's a reason for that because they're not right in their mind yet. They don't know that. I have the perfect example. Look at a 12 year old who acts like a 12 year old. That is how a 12 year old is supposed to be. They're dumb. They're not supposed to know what's going on in life. And then you have these kids dumb and not knowing what's going on in life with guns. I mean, kids are dangerous without guns. Give them a gun and they become a fucking nuke. You can hear one officer praying it doesn't end badly. Don't let me do this. Don't do this. You can hear the restraint of the deputies pleading not to have to use their guns. Call I mean, literally, what if, what if they just sat there? Brought, brought a couple tanks or, or some secure vehicles, surrounded the house, and just stayed there for however long it took for those kids to put down the guns and to come out and say, we're, we're done, we're, 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 we're sorry, and then take them to juvenile or prison, wherever they're meant to go, because the U.S. clearly doesn't give a shit about them, so screw them. Cops say the girl, seen in this photo given to the news media by her father, was shot and wounded when she refused orders to drop the shotgun. Look at that. Look at that. That, that 14 year old girl shot in the neck? That's, that's so sad, genuinely, like, she's 14. As much as they are shooting you, yes, don't forget they are children, they're stupid. They're genuinely just dumb. Surround the house with some fucking insurgents from GTA 5 that are bulletproof and just wait them out. They're gonna have to come out sometime for food. It's not like if you surround the whole place, they'll be able to run and, and karate chop the insurgent and jump out like ninja warriors or some shit. And they had they had an AK-47, a shotgun, and a handgun. And how much ammo? We, we don't know. How long could it have taken them if they just waited a little bit? 30 minutes isn't that long, my dude. Just, just you could have waited hours. The poor girl did not have to get shot. But, but that's the U.S. right there for you, right? Shoot, shoot the 14-year-old girl because she has a gun in her hand. Opened fire from behind a parked car. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten bullet holes. Thirty seconds later, young Travis O'Brien came out of the house with his hands raised. They sh Shot through the bedroom window. They shot from the garage door. They, they, I mean, this is like Bonnie and Clyde. Now these juvenile Bonnie and Clyde desperados have to face the music. You're also charged with attempted first degree murder of a law enforcement officer. Bro, do you think that kid even knows what that means? Like, generally. It's so sad. And this poor kid's probably just going to be thrown in jail and rot in there till he's 40 and then thrown back into society as, as a person who's been in prison and a cop killer and his life is just downhill from there. It's, it's so sad, Jesus. It's so sad. So, so there's so much behind the camera you guys don't know. You know, like I have to move files and I have to, you know, there's so many things I have to do. So while it's taking time for the files, like this camera files, to get put into my hard drive, I got nothing to do. So I put on this uh, this documentary and I was just listening to it. Dude, it is so sad. Like genuinely, I, I, I feel so upset for these kids. Like, it, it, it's, it's so upsetting to see what some of these people have to go through, you know, just because they were given the opportunity, they were given a gun. Yeah, so if if you guys want to see this in the next episode, I can I can get out the parts which I really liked of this and uh, show you guys so you don't have to watch the full documentary. But if you want to watch the full documentary, you can. It's pretty interesting. This whole video is honestly just uh, I I kind of wanted out there to talk about the guns, you know, like. When people actually think that it's okay to just have your guns out, I mean, I don't know the whole story of that the 12-year-old boy and the 14-year-old girl, 
the maybe the guns were in a safe and they broke the code and hacked it and opened it up and then took the guns but the reality is that the US does not take firearms seriously and uh, it's shown with how many kids kids like 15 16 year old kids in prison not juvenile juveniles like for kids that like rob or i don't know do something like beat up i don't know or try to kill their mother or father or you know i don't know the juvenile isn't juvenile is too nice for for the kids that actually kill you know they they have to go to prison where they can get raped and have an even worse time on earth you know and and that's what that that's what scares me the most especially when i watch this like imagine being 13 14 years old and told okay in a couple years you're going to have to go to actual prison where there are 50 60 70 40 80 year old men who have done serious shit like rape and actual murder and some crazy shit and you're put in the same room as them imagine that being 15 and told that you're going to be put into prison that's scary i mean half the kids in this were like shit you know i know what i did was really bad but i learned just by being in juvenile you know and then they they're just stuffed in prison imagine that they they weren't even thinking that's the sad part they were just doing which every kid does ugh it's so sad anyways you must think oh yeah okay the us the children kill with guns yes around the world kids do kill as well in in other parts of the world like for example where i used to live in tamil nadu uh in a place called kodaikanal right there was this uh kid a recent story actually while i was in high school uh who killed another kid with scissors this other kid had been bullying him so much about his parents and 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 you know the typical story the kid was so done he was so angry that he just took a pair of scissors and just killed that other kid of course he's now in juvenile prison which i didn't know they had in uh india it must be a shit show it must be rape central but uh yep that's that's this sad sad world which unfortunately we live in but it's so sad to think about it you know but the the only way i get over it is that that's the destiny of the kid that's the de- everybody in prison that's their destiny you know like that's how their life had to go they had to learn something in this lifetime and and yeah as much as it's sad it happened to them for a reason it just it didn't just out of the out of the blue come and just happen to them you know ha uh, it, it it's such a it's such a hard topic to talk about you know like uh, it's generally it's it's quite upsetting but Yeah like I said it is this world it is what's happening it is what happens so we can't really control it and yeah guns Turns out peaceful Switzerland is one of the most heavily armed nations in the world and like America they love their guns yet they have almost zero gun violence how the fuck is that possible How are they supposed to know the difference between a game and real life when in in GTA there are guns just lying around which you can pick up and in real life in the US there are guns just lying around everywhere which they can pick up. So, yeah, guess guess it is GTA in fucking the United States. Jesus. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want to see me reacting to uh, the full documentary, I'm not going to like react to the whole the whole 45 minutes, but um I'll take out my favorite parts of it and uh, react to that with the interesting parts and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So let's ride this road together. They're called firearms for a reason. Fire arms. Those are like Ha ha ha